19 Juli 2022, Presiden Joko Widodo mengadakan pertemuan dengan Presiden Jose Ramos Horta, Presiden Republik Demokratik Timur Leste di Istana Kepresidenan Bogor, Jawa Barat, Indonesia. Dalam pertemuan tersebut dibahas sejumlah hal, mulai dari perdagangan antara kedua negara, investasi, pembangunan infrastruktur hingga konektivitas darat dan laut yang bisa meningkatkan hubungan bilateral antara kedua negara. Dan hari ini saya sudah bersama dengan Menteri Kepresidenan Dewan Menteri dan juga juru bicara pemerintah Timur Leste, His Excellency Minister Fidelis Manuel Liete Mangelans yang tengah mengadakan kunjungan bilateral dengan sejumlah menteri dari Indonesia untuk membahas fokus-fokus yang sudah lebih dulu dibahas oleh Presiden kedua negara dan saya akan langsung berbincang untuk mengetahui update mengenai fokus-fokus tersebut. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I spell your name correctly, right? Okay. So, oh, thank you so much. Uh, so we can uh, continue. Uh, we want to talk more about your plan in Jakarta. You want to have a meeting with some of our minister here, right? So would you mind to share us? some of the idea or uh, the things that will be the focus on the bilateral meeting between you and the minister from Indonesia? Uh, during this uh, visit, um, I will be meeting with uh, university institutions uh, and I'll also take this opportunity to meet with uh, several political figures and personalities and uh, inter Indonesian intellectuals to in order to just be able to understand uh, from uh, them their viewpoints about uh, the role of Indonesia uh, in the world and uh, how we can further uh, deepen the relationship between our two nations, Timor-Leste and Indonesia. Uh, and I'll also have, uh, in addition, I'll have the opportunity uh, to meet with uh, pa uh, Minister Luhut uh, Panjaitan uh, and it will be a courtesy call uh, but uh, we will certainly uh, raise issues that are uh, that can be seen, uh, in fact, as a, um, a continuation of uh, the present uh, conversations that have been uh, held uh, by my uh, president, by my uh, government, by the prime minister, on ways to further deepen the relationship between our two. Uh, countries. So basically, economic uh, will be the focus also with your visit here in Indonesia, right? Uh, yet, I think there is also an opportunity to bring um, bigger investors from Indonesia to be able to go to Timor Leste and uh, to be able to make use of the opportunities that Timor Leste can offer. Uh, Timor Leste does have access to. Uh, a number of markets, uh, both in the region and uh, globally, like the EU, the US, uh, and China. So this access uh, and being an LDC, uh, or still an LDC um, state, we can really further capitalize on that by having capital from Indonesia, which then can be complemented with our, our um, labor, because we need to increase or to provide employment opportunities for our citizens. Um, and so we do have, as a factor of production, we do have um, labor uh, who are uh, ready and willing uh, to work. So we hope that Indonesian capitals can go in, uh, serious capitals can go in uh, to Timor-Leste and uh, further contribute to our uh, national um, economy. So. Uh could you be more specific about the economic sector that we will uh, grow together or will boost together to make our bilateral relation more uh, closely than ever with if that so kind of investment? If we, can, if we can bring in, like as I said earlier, a serious investors who can then go to, Indo uh, who can go to Timor Leste from Indonesia and hence contribute to increasing Indonesian investment in Timor Leste and then be able to create employment opportunities in Timor-Leste, but at the same time be able to make profit and have access to uh, different markets that Timor-Leste as a sovereign nation has, uh, there we, then there would be a really win-win solution. So we can really increase the volume of investment from 1.2, and there is no reason for it to be just 1.2. It can be a lot more because Timor-Leste can be a frontier for investment uh, and uh, 
Uh, we believe that if one brings one's money from, from uh, Southeast Asia and especially from Indonesia to Timor-Leste, being a new frontier, uh, there is a, 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 secure, a secure and guaranteed good rate of return of investment. Uh, your uh, President Jose Ramos Horta has stated that your country wants to be the newest member of the ASEAN for next year during Indonesia uh, chairmanship. So how your country prepare for this new things to become the member of the ASEAN and what is the agenda that your country will bring to the ASEAN? Well, um, we have filed, submitted our application since 2011. So we have been preparing since 2011, and now I think we mark the 11th year of, 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 of the application. Uh, and Timor-Leste has done a lot of work. We have done a lot of work internally. So that's a really uh, good progress. But also, other than that, since 2019, uh, we created something called TLAMP, T-L-A-M-P. So basically, the task, the unit, or the, the framework's job was to make sure that all the different ministries would contribute to, towards our goal of becoming a member of ASEAN. And um, it seems that we will be, finally, we will be a member by 2023. And as uh, it has been, um, it is expected uh, that Indonesia will be assuming the presidency. So if Timor joins while Indonesia assumes the presidency, then it will be even more symbolic. So uh, do you think uh, what will future bring to our relationship between the two nations? I mean, like, we are building now the relationship more stronger than ever before. So what do you think the future will be? I think if we, bo we both uh, work together, then we can really be a force for good in the region and in the world. So therefore, I think to conclude uh, this uh, part of uh, your question, I'd like to say that, yes, we can work both at a political and civilizational uh, level, but we also should and must explore opportunities in the economic sector, because then the two can work hand in hand, economic prosperity and freedom and democracy. And then we can work and project ourselves to other countries uh, in the world. Okay. Thank you so thank much you. for your time, Minister Fidelis. Hope you enjoy your time in Jakarta and thank you for having us here. Have a nice time Terima in Indonesia. Kasih. Terima, Terima kasih. kasih. Terima kasih. Thank <laughs> Dan you. itu adalah diskusi yang menarik antara uh, CNN Indonesia dengan Menteri Kepresidenan, Dewan Menteri, dan juga juru bicara pemerintah Timor Leste. Terima kasih. Sampai jumpa. Okay.